Hello! Today we are going to continue the topic of floral compositions. The subject is so appealing, it has inspired me quite a while ago and I am still fascinated. There is some magic in flower making. Well, it's hard to simulate nature, but it is worth trying. Today I'd like to show you the following. I found such interesting decoration elements on the internet, such branches. They can be used as parts of floral compositions, as well as decoration of woven items. So today we are getting to know such elements. A few words about the materials. I wrote tubes for such floral compositions, as I have already mentioned, of such extra thin paper. It's very similar to greaseproof paper. Well, actually this floral composition is not paper consuming, so it is worthwhile using thin paper like this. The tubes for flowers are thicker. I roll a 10 mm wide stripe around a barbecue skewer. The thin tubes are meant for these elements. I roll them around a 1.8 mm thick umbrella rib. Well, you can vary tube thickness depending on the intended size of your composition. Here you can see the way thin tubes look in the work. As for this element, it has been made of thicker tubes and more tubes have been consumed. It's up to you to choose the paper stripe width and tube thickness depending on the result you are aimed at. So, the first element is such a woven branch. I've tried a few options and finally I've chosen the one I'm sharing with you today. Without a base, the branch is too loose, it tends to twist all the time. So I use a base with a thin, thin thin coated wire inside. I take a normal tube made of newspaper, insert a thin wire and tie it to a bunch of six tubes. We are going to use this tube as a branch base. I distribute the tubes into two branches of three from each side. Turn, the base is in front, it is going to be the wrong side of the branch. Now I've got such short pieces cut of newspaper tubes prepared in advance. They are a few centimeters long. I'm going to cut the excessive length off afterwards, but it's easy to roll when they are a bit longer than the branch width. I flatten the broken tubes. They are hollow. It is easier working with them when flat. So, the first move. I roll the working tubes around a tube piece from both sides performing such coils. One, two, three. Then I crisscross the tubes. Keep the basic tube in front 
and to join the next tube piece. It is very important to avoid crossing of the working tubes. So perform the next coils in the same sequence. One, two, three. Smoothen with your fingers carefully and make the coils from the left. Got it. Crisscross the tubes again in the same way as we did in the first section. The right tubes go beneath, while the left tubes go above. I mean you have to direct the tubes identically, otherwise the branch is going to look untidy. And continue. Adjoin the next crossbar and perform coils from both sides. Make the coils from the right with the tubes we take from the left. Continue this way up to the intended branch length. As a rule, the branch length depends on the length of the basic tube. What have I got as a result? The tube length has allowed me to make five sections. As for finishing, let's make it aesthetic. Well, it's optional. I've made my first branches without any trimming. This time I feel like decorating the end. I interview the tubes in a normal way to finish the item. In front, behind, in front, this way. Pull tighter and wrap with another tube neatly. Well, actually this lower part is going to be hidden if you plan to keep the composition in a vase. In case you are decorating a jewel box, everything will be clearly seen, so it's worthwhile trimming the element. And so on. Perform wrapping up to the required length. The lower part is ready. Repeat all the same actions for the upper part. I apply some glue to the very top from the wrong side. As a result I've got such a top. You can press it with a clothing clip for fastening. But actually, dragon glue is fast and strong enough without any clips. The only thing left is to cut the tails carefully. The branch is finished. The wire inside makes it rigid enough. Without wire it would be too loose. Moreover, you can bend it the way you like to fit the composition. So, such a nice element I've got. My best recommendations.